and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to week five. You heard that right. Week one, two, three, four, five. We are here. Week four just ended. You'll be noticing that this is coming out a little bit sooner. Normally, it's on Tuesday night. Now it's sooner. So what just happened yesterday? Cole, what just happened? Well, we're giving some more time. This is a Wednesday focus. This is a, this is a Wednesday focused show. Exactly. It's all about Wednesday. It's all about game day. When was game day? Wednesday. Wednesday. And if it's not Wednesday, yeah. I don't want top. I, I, don't, I don't want nothing to do yeah. with it. So no, no more weekly picks. This is a Wednesday <clears throat> game show. This is about game day. So that's what we're here. So yesterday was Wednesday, meaning we've got the stats. Hot off the press. We've got the results. Hot off the press. And we are here. We are ready to roll. Now, disclaimer. Disclaimer, 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 disclaimer. disclaimer. These are not final. They're not final. Meaning, if the job don't get sprayed, not only do you not get paid, your numbers go down. Way down. And if they go way down, you take a fat L. So, with all that being said, this is hot off the press. This is, this is breaking news. This was from yesterday at midnight. These are the results, the sold results. Get them service if you want to take the dub, but we will be talking as if you got the dub if you got the dub. Disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. So, let's roll right into week four results, everybody. We're looking at some, there were some tragic upsets. Oh yeah. There were some big dubs, mm -hmm. and it was an amazing week. Overall knee-jerk reaction, uh, what was my, Cole, stats? Four and five. I was four and five. You were four and five on the week, 11 and 16 on total matchups. Oh, no. Not horrible. Not great. What about you? I had a week, six and three. Hey now. You're getting better. You're hey ready. now. That puts me tied with you, 11 and 16 on the matchups. Mm. Oh, After no. your atrocious week one picks, but I'm on the you come caught up. me. I'm on the come up. Easton, Easton had a week. Talk to me. Six and three as well. That's another week at work, man. 17 and 10 on matchups. That's. Mm -hmm. That's a winning better. Easton, yeah, I yeah. need to know, I don't know if you're willing to share this, what just what goes through your head when you make these picks? Because apparently it's working. Listen, it's, it's, the, it's the business model, it's Wednesdays, it's people over everything. And so uh, the Gorilla Whisper is right into this year right here. And uh, I let the people know on the show. And then you know. And then I know. So what's his overall record? 17 and 10. 17, 17 and 10. You are the, it's not you, horrible. You are making cash. It's not horrible. You are making it's not. cash. So let's get right into it. Let's go over the, uh, the winners from last week, week four. We are looking at, and we have new stats, everybody. We are new and improved. We're better. We're getting better. This show is ramping. It's ramping. Week four, we're starting with Nashville Columbus. That was a nail biter. Nails bite it. <laughs> got money on your shoulder. I'm laughing, bro. <laughs> like I'm giggling today, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. So we got Columbus is winning. This is a very big asterisk. Asterisk. Nashville by about eighty dollars. That's one account. Eighty bucks. Eighty bucks. Columbus is beating Nashville. So Columbus has the dub. Will they maintain the dub? For the record, also Columbus had the. They were the best. They were the best on, on Wednesday. They're, I would wager Columbus is the hottest team in the company right now. Yeah. A lot of chatter about Des Moines. I think Columbus is the hottest team in this company. Crazy fact, fun fact. Columbus, 3,700 per rep. Nashville, 3,600 per rep. The next closer was Portland, 3,600 per rep. And that's Weird. about it. Don't so date Des Moines. Like, if Nashville was playing any other team, they would have won besides... Portland. It's a tough break. So, congrats, Columbus, on that hopeful oh. dub. Next up, Omaha. Absolutely dug deep. Was it the week I needed you to dig deep? It wasn't. It just wasn't. It just wasn't. But you got the dub this last week against Orange County. You took S Omaha. I took Omaha? Oh, yeah, I was Orange County. Oh, I did take yeah. Omaha. It just wasn't when I called them. You took them. Omaha. It you just took Omaha. That was so loud. It just <laughs> wasn't when I pleaded for them. Omaha! Omaha! Correct. Yeah, correct. They still, they correct. still did it for me. No, but you spoke against the Zoltar mm. and took Omaha, and I think that's why. I think and that's sacrilege. <sighs> My head hurts. That was so much louder than I thought it was going to be. So, uh, also 400 bucks, still up in the air. Des Moines did beat Boston. Yeah, they're chugging. They're chugging a little bit slower yeah. of a week, though. 2,800. Boston was in fi within 500 bucks. Here's the thing. You can't look at the numbers and compare it to every single week, the teams are going to do what needs to be done. Yeah, that's true. Right? Mm. They're on the leaderboards. They're seeing what's happening. It's like, oh, here's my pace. We need to ramp. 
or we can coast. They know. They're, they're calculating. The thing is, it's spooky when you think you can coast. Just when you yeah. think you can coast, West Bay throws down a $8,400 Chris Diamondback, throws down a K, a 10K mm, 10K mark. contract. And next thing you know, <laughs> Tides have turned. Boop. Tides have turned. Yeah. Next up, it looks like Baltimore got it handed to them by Louisville. Louisville just did it what they needed to do. They made it happen. Shocking, really. Handily. Yeah. I thought Baltimore was going to throw some haymakers. Yeah. They must be saving it all for this week. Yeah. Baltimore, I'm looking at you. Let's be better. Be better. Be better for your people. Next up, Denver, New Mexico. I was right. It was within $100. Easton, you were not right. Yeah, I was way off on this one. So we'll, you guys were You guys were not believers. I saw what was happening in Denver. Do you, you guys see didn't know. what's happening in Denver? Or and, did you and, I, and I still see. I saw and I still see. But, yeah, you guys didn't believe, and uh, that one felt good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Chicago versus Boise, Jacksonville. That was another close one. Boise, Jacksonville absolutely Bets, made it happen. Uh, KG in the corner. Can, can we talk Chicago real quick? 0-4. Yeah, I mean, this is a group that, uh, that won the heavyweights <laughs> last year. I think this is just an elongated ramp. Classic case of elongated yeah. ramp. That's what this doctor prescribes. I'm going to Not get a good look. stats will show. I think Columbus every week, or sorry, Chicago, is actually getting better every week. Oh, they are. And it's just a matter of time. I think that they're going to have the Cinderella so You guys story. just wait till July. You just wait on it. Okay. Uh, White Plains, Cincinnati. Cincinnati took care of business by a couple hundred bucks. Yep. KC, I'm still in their chat, I believe. Slipped. I b Slipped, huh? I thought they were slowing down. Kansas City, you're slipping. Yeah. Sue me! <laughs> I thought they were slowing down. No, I don't know where it's you not heard like that. Them. Still confused. For the record, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but Seattle is slowing down. <laughs> Seattle is slowing down. <laughs> it's unfortunate. Down. It would appear that way. Seattle, what is going on there? You guys are 0-3. Without ending. their guy, without their guy out there, Without Alec Withers. He is so fearless and handsome, that Withers. Yes, and his, and his, and his, and his <laughs> mm -mm. sweet baby Yeah, else. they might be slipping without him. It's just mm -mm. tough. It's just tough. Seattle needs to find something within them. Uh, Portland looks like they won the three-way matchup. Three-way matchup. Uh, by, against OKC, who ramped with over 3K. And Houston with 2,300. Portland took care of business. Portland is hot. Portland is Whoa. red. Hot Tito's. <laughs> Wow, have a couple. Wow, have wow, a couple. Wow, wow, They're wow, four wow, wow. Oh, that was, no. Wow. Yeah, that was for you. That was for him. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's so awesome. Portland is red hot, flaming hot. <laughs> so now full. Portland is on a hot trip. <laughs> so we Portland can keep staying hot. Uh huh. Let's get into week five. <laughs> Getting right into week five, everyone. This would be a three-way matchup, but. Omaha. I forgot how hot Hot Cheetos were. Really? I, <laughs> really, really? I feel like when you eat them, you gotta eat a lot of them because they get hot. <laughs> you eat them. Oh, man. So Baltimore and Omaha are joining forces. Omaha will be joining Baltimore in Baltimore. Mm -hmm. That's a big team. They will be taking on the Baltimore record, <clears throat> which is one and three, and they're coming off. Three L's. I wish we had a popsicle because Baltimore right now is. Ice cold. Ice. It's tough. Kinzel's, now, Kinzel's been top of the board every week. The, everybody else has to work. Tom Brady can't carry everyone. Yeah. He can't. He just can't. So right now the line is sitting at Denver, sitting at plus 130, back when they were together. It's pretty close. I think Baltimore's actually a little bit favored just because they've been doing more than Denver. So I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. If, should we go to the weather, Danny Blue Skies? Get, get things kicked off the right way? I think so. Blue Skies, shed some light. Welcome to Blue Skies, by the way. It's good to be back, Where's as the, always. No, it's always casual, casual. Casual Friday. Fridays today. We're feeling casual. But uh, <laughs> I do have, with heavy heart, a punishment to administer. Mm. Um, Easton, hallowed be thy name, predicted <laughs> that New Mexico beat Denver by, what was it, a thousand? Give me Albuquerque, and I think, call me crazy here, I like them with a thousand per rep handicap. Yeah, that didn't happen. And I mean, Denver, unsurprisingly to a lot of us, came out on top. So, uh, Easton, I am, on behalf of the Soul Snatchers, I'm going to have to take your soul. Snatch away. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, Easton. Oh, so um, you'll get it back when you deserve it. You know, we can convert you to a believer. Hopefully, you're not too far gone. But, uh, you know. I'm born again believer, dude. Like, oh, he's back. He's back. He <laughs> believes. <laughs> he believes in the prophecy. Denver. <laughs> they have it in them, bro. So talk to me. Talk to me, blue skies. Are they going to be getting blue skies out in Denver this week? Bro, I think there's a cloud in the sky that looks like Harambe. There's a cloud in the sky. It's an omen of good fortune for the rest of the season for Denver. Will it be blowing over on Wednesday, though? Tough or to say. It will. For it the will. record, everyone, I'm not a believer. I'm a believer in weather. I'm not a believer in weather forecasts. I'm just not. Whenever it says rain, take. It's, it, it could be a hot take. <laughs> I've managed many teams. Many times I see, I see rain, snow, sleet, hail on the forecast. And what happens the next day? Blue skies. Blue skies. So I don't know, Danny, I believed you back when we were kind of doing this within the realm of like when we're doing this. I might think that you're a sham at this point. You know he's a flat earther. Can we just let everyone know that Garth, is, Garth Massey is, <laughs> is a flat earther? That's what I heard. That's no, not that's true. Not I have a globe on my desk. Not, but he, he does believe in the flat earth. I, I may or may not. not. I may or may not. But what about in Baltimore? Talk to me about the weather there. Oh, yeah, you don't have a bike. <laughs> well, I don't. I, I mean, we'll get to it now. Uh, in Baltimore, I predict uh, light little sprinkles, little showers, no omens. You know, a little bit of rainfall never hurt anyone in Baltimore. That's what I feel. I love that. Thank you, Danny Blue Skies. Thank you uh, for being here. My pick for the day is Baltimore. I'm serious. Yeah, they're cold, but it's time for them to get hot. These guys combined last year, did they not? Am I off on they that? They did. They combined in Cincinnati. And if I remember correctly, it was fireworks when these guys got together. Yes, it was. Give me Denver. That's a shame. Wow. I alluded to it earlier Sharp. this year. Major heel turn. Oh. I alluded to it earlier in the season. Whoa! Denver is ramping. I didn't think it'd be this fast, but uh, it sounds like they've recommitted, and I'm born again. Soul Snatchers, I think they take this one, and I don't think it's particularly close. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. I don't think Denver is Denver without Brock. I just don't. If Brock's out there on Wednesday, maybe that changes my mind. He's there, no? Nope. Oh. Will he be there by Wednesday next week? I don't know. Now, he does have a baby. He's got a decent excuse. Okay, when he's cute. I just don't think Denver has it in them to pull off a dub without Brock. Hot take. I don't know if that's even that hot. Yeah, something's, cool. something's in the water in Denver. I'm taking Denver. I think mm. all signs. These With guys, Brock? Without Brock? I don't think it matters. I don't think are you of the same opinion? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, t tides have turned for them. They went 0-2 to start. They flipped the script, and they're hot. And all signs would point to Baltimore, Omaha last year. Fireworks joined together in Cincinnati. Yep. Mm -hmm. The square would think that that would tell you to take Baltimore. Yeah. Correct. Sharp bet. Denver. Okay. All right, you heard it here first. Next up, next week. <laughs> Cincinnati, Chicago, so we've got T-Flame, Dodge Anderson, a lot of the dogs going off there against Chi-Town. Drew Wood, Sam Harmer, Shear, RJ. You would think with a lineup like that, it would be a typo on the screen, and they'd be 4-0. I know it. It's what just do you think? A, what, what, just, what is going on there? It's what just a slower ramp. We're getting acclimated. It's a big team, a lot of rookies. The ramp is just a little slower for these guys. However, I think we've got a, a Denver case here where I think in a week or two, this guy, uh, the Chicago ramp will be inverted. So give me, Chica yeah. give me Chicago here. Yeah, I mean, Chicago did do last week 2,100 per rep. Uh, I will also be taking Chicago. I will. I believe exactly what you just said. And I, I think it's three-way. Hey, three-way here. Oh. Three also, also taking Chicago. You're hopping on the party Whoa. wave? I'm hopping on the party Don't wave. Don't tell me it's a party, party wave. wave. I, it's the party wave. I'm, I'm a believer in things turning around over there. I think you're right. I think you're on the nail. Big team, rookies, just takes a little bit to get moving, but when it gets moving, it's moving. Mm -hmm. Also, super quick, I forgot. <laughs> if you beat your per, your PR, right? <laughs> per week. No, no, the personal per, record. Is that what it is? Per day. Personal best? Mm. No, the PR on a Wednesday. Your <laughs> best, personal best, PR, yeah. personal record. Per Thank record. you, Danny Blue Skies, I was right. I got this guy throwing shade at me, dude. <laughs> Damn. No, I was saying per, the per week. No, I'm talking about something totally different. We're not even PR, on the same. PR week, pre, PR day? PR day. PR, PR day. day. So the if day. you beat your personal best Wednesday Rumble day, AKA your best Wednesday so far in the four weeks of the Rumble, if you beat your best as in office, 
regardless if you win or lose. You win breakfast the next morning. You grinded, you hustled, you deserve some dry Chick-fil-A biscuits. Mm -hmm. If you forget the Chick-fil-A mm -hmm. if you forget the Chick-fil-A sauce. Which you can't forget the Chick-fil-A. You can't forget the Chick-fil-A sauce. No Chick-fil-A sauce? So no. Just so everybody is super clear, we'll just be sending these out. Uh, everybody should be ramping. Every Wednesday should be getting better. If you beat your personal record, personal best, whatever the hell you call it, you win $10 per rep for Chick-fil-A the next morning or a pizza party. Wow. $10 a head for pizza? We did $5 a head and everybody basically got their own hot and sweaty. Little Caesars pizza. Mmm. Mm-mm. Yep, I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, I, mm, mm, mm. We're getting back on track. Uh, Weatherman, uh, talk to us about the Chicago, Cincinnati. Uh, they're close. They're close to each other. Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, it's going to be close in some aspects. But uh, is Owen in Chicago? Stop. Is Owen out there? Stop it. Owen four. <laughs> Owen four. Chicago. Is he <laughs> out there, bro? Because I'm predicting a weather event. I'm predicting an eclipse. Okay, Cincinnati eclipses Chicago this week, and it's not even close. I don't know if an close. eclipse is something you can predict. I don't know. I think an eclipse is like a mathematical, like, it just happens. I don't think it's like a prediction thing. I think we might have a sham with it. Trust the professional. Okay. Trust so, professional. we've got one guy riding Cincinnati, three, three party waves on Chicago. Moving on, we've got Des Moines. I just stood up because they're the Goliath in this competition. They are, as everybody likes to know, Wow. Flaming hot. Okay, okay, okay. They're so hot. They're so hot. They're so spicy. <laughs> they are flaming hot. They're 4 0 still. They are hot. They've never been hotter. They've never cooled down. I bet against them three weeks in a row. Mm. And really the mouthful. Right I respect it. The mouthful. They did beat <laughs> Omaha. They did. I thought Omaha might pull it off. They just did it. So, talk to me, Cole. What are you feeling? I just don't know how you can go against Des Moines. <laughs> I don't know either. I'm a believer. Are we doing hot takes now or, or later? Not later. Well, we want to sprinkle in a hot take. I think, hot take. I think Jack Nelson, Nielsen, I should say. Nielsen. 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 Top rep on the day. Whoa. Oh, whoa. whoa. That was actually for the end, but that's okay. Sue me. That's your hot Sue take. Me. Yeah, I'm taking Des Moines. I'm taking Jack, Jake, Wills. Hot take. All right. Uh, what do you like, East? This is a crazy thing that I'm about to do here. I bet on Des Moines, I believe, every week. Uh, they're a wagon. That's a unit out there, and they're doing an incredible job. Mm -hmm. However, father to Ben's, Mr. Matt Duvaloy is going to be back. Hey, time out. Mm -hmm. Is he? Mm -hmm. Fact check? Fact check. Fact check. Lunch with him yesterday. Fact check. Fact check. Yeah. He will be there. I think he leads this troop to victory. I think it's a massive upset. I think Louisville has their biggest day of the summer, including... Memorial Day, and I think they come out with a dub here. Give me Louisville. Wow. Wow, 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 um, Let's hit it. I'm a believer. I've been converted. I've been converted, and Des Moines, I want to take this moment to apologize. Mm. I want to apologize. To no one! Not even you, Des Moines! Louisville, Texas, I had Des Moines on here. I'm changing my pick. Oh! <laughs> because I just know that this is the time that Louisville, I didn't know Matt Duvall was gone, so I've taken Louisville. I've taken Louisville. I was, I'm not a believer. I was about to hit this in your face because I was, I was, I thought you were a liar. I said, that's, that's not a real apology. No, that, that wasn't. It actually was an you apology at the beginning, then it felt wrong within my soul. I'm not apologizing to nobody. I'm not apologizing to <laughs> So I'm taking, I, I almost need another paper. I'm taking, um, I'm taking Louisville. Talk to me, Blue Skies. I mean, it's like, how many times do you have to be captured oh, no, by the true. Raiders to learn your lesson, old man? It's like, <laughs> <laughs> they, they do it every week. Pestilence. Pestilence upon you. Plagues. Plagues upon Louisville. Jake Nolden, the cockroach costume. I don't know what you want from me. Uh, that's all I want. That's all I want. So there we go. Um, I think that's a, that's a matchup, but crazy thing enough. Oh, wait, wait, you're up, Cole. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and throw it over to our anti-bagel recipe of the week. Shout out the medics, our sponsors. We're going to have to go ahead and trust the legend here. He knows the game. He's been there. He listens to Harambe. We're going to throw it over to Mark Mann. 
mm. for the bagel recipe of the week. The war week. horse, Moink. Anti bagel recipe of the week this week. <laughs> yes. Take it over, Mark. What's up, guys? Here, uh, presenting the anti bagel recipe of the week. Got something here. Hey. Well, this is just, you're not going to need this. Um, however, we've got Gatorade, fast twitch. If you're needing a little speed. Next thing we got, Reese's sticks. This is a vintage piece. You're going to want one of these. Last thing, tried and true. Pizza tornado. Pizza tornado. Pizza tornado to twist. Pizza tornado to twist. Have a good week. We're back everyone, thank you Mark. This week on the, you've already heard what it takes. We've got, you know, you already explained it all, so we're not gonna waste any time explaining. But who are we? We are hypocrites if we do not partake Listen, in I, the anti-bagel recipe of the week. I can, the speak, I can speak to this recipe. <laughs> you can, and it- Bunk it, and I, we know a thing or two about the sticks. You they do. have saved us a time or two. They'll hit hard, and these have been sitting here for a little over an hour, so hopefully they still hit hard. Next <laughs> up, okay, hit. Really bad. <laughs> That's not good. Really bad. Yeah. Okay, see. Uh huh. One in three, coming off an L versus Orange County. Also one in three, coming off an L. Their both of their previous matchups were close, though. They were close. Orange County is plus one twenty-five. OKC is heavily favored by uh, minus one forty-five. Joe Clayton, Blazard, Dal Matillion had a day yesterday. It's my IT guy right there, Hubert Cumber. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's his gamer tag for those who what? don't know. Yeah, Hubert Cumber, Adam. Seeger was knocking with them. Slezik, Jaker, Donay, Matt Jolly, the, our, our friends from the, the Shield. They almost got the dub last week. Let's just jump right into this one. Uh, Cole, hit it, please. OC. Give me OC. Orange County, you're taking them. Yeah, give me OC. Massive day yesterday. Massive. Their second biggest of the summer. Really? They're, they're, they're first biggest with all of them in Orange County. Close to 150k. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> That'll make <laughs> pucker. We might have to censor that one, but <laughs> not good. No, 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 no. They're not. I thought it was gonna taste like Gatorade. We'll keep you on your toes, though. So who do you like? Who do you like? Yeah, give me uh, this. This might ruffle some feathers here. Okay. Talk to me. Give me Oklahoma City. Okay. Give me Cars. Give me Joel, Daddy. Okay. Give me the rest of the gang out there. I'm expecting a massive sleeper performance from my guy Abram Martin. I'm expecting mm. him to drop a really, really casual 8.8K. He's been slow and steady. Actually, not slow. It's just been steady. Oh, yeah. No, he's selling a lot. I wish I didn't just close my computer because I'd like to know what he's out in the summer. But he's doing great. Crushing. So give me OKC here. Okay. OC, love you, um, boys. I also, I've been a kind of a writer guy die with oh, OKC, God. and I think that they're catching fire. I think they're hot. I think they're ready to roll. I also like OKC. Whether... Any, anything, anything to update us on there? After that anti-bagel recipe, we're predicting tornadoes. We're predicting tornadoes <laughs> nationwide. Oh, um, but as far as the matchup goes, I doubted Orange County once, and unlike some of us, I learned from my mistakes. But OKC had better numbers than Orange County. I'm going against the numbers here, because I believe. I doubted them once, I won't do it again, but stand up, Orange County, stand up. Stand up. Actually, my aunt needs pest control. I'll send you a referral. That's one on the board. Dang, she already wants wow. it. Dang, what's her name? <laughs> uh, Sue Tobiasen, Susan Tobiasen, she'll be a customer. All right, send, we'll send that address <laughs> first one there. Oh, see, let's get up. it done for Susan. So, okay, see, all right, moving on to the predetermined Marky Matchup. Marky Matchup. Marky Matchup. <laughs> this one's gonna be good, you guys. This is the one we've been waiting for. This is the Chiefs versus the Bills. This is the Boston Red Sox versus the New York Yankees mm. in 2009. Okay, okay. When little, the curse is broken. Little Big Poppy lore here. Yep, 100%. I'm distracted. Columbus versus Portland. Little the Jason Veritek lore here. Come Listen, on now. Des Moines has been great. Big game. But these guys are hot. Both of them hot. are hot Both. and have not <clears throat> slowed down for one second. We've got um, once three and one, once four and zero. Oh. I don't want to eat any more hot Cheetos, but Portland, you're flaming hot. Don't even say his name while we talk about this matchup, dude. He who shall not be named, GJ. <laughs> He's literally too yeah, hot to I'm talk not about. about him. He's I'm too not, hot to talk about. I'm not talking about GJ. Leave him out. Don't do it. No. Nope. All right, we got Columbus. Is whoa. <laughs> Columbus is favored against Portland. It's probably mm -hmm. because they're so hot. Hey, yeah. Minus one twenty. 
doesn't make sense to a guy like me. But So what do you take then? I'm just taking get right Portland. after it. I think this is going to be an absolute dogfight. But I think Portland just doesn't want to lose so bad. I think that they will go to the most extreme lengths. I think they might go undefeated this year, and I'm taking Portland. Yeah. East. Give me Portland. Give me Portland. I said I wasn't going to bet against Columbus, and here, I was planning are. on betting Columbus, but here, here I are. am betting Portland. I think the rookies make all the difference. Yeah, that's true. I think the rookies in Portland are going to be the difference maker in this matchup. Give me Portland. and oh, uh, what is that? What is that? Is that a party wave? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm tying it out. I'm tying it out. I'm not this even wearing my wetsuit. The party wave. Portland, I've ridden with you. Columbus, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, I love Columbus. I've made a lot of cheddar on Columbus. So a couple, can, we, can we get a little cheers? A couple non-believers sitting to my left and my right on Columbus, but I'm sorry I'm hopping on that party wave. It's too big. I almost chipped a tooth on that cup. <laughs> that was loud. <laughs> Hopefully the mic caught that. I'm hopping on Portland. Oh, there. I think the money is just a better bet. It's just a better I think Bo Barbin, Farrell Dean, Strict Daddy, the rookies, get the job done. New segment. Rank them right, everybody. Rank them right. We've taken five vets, five salty vets, and we are going to rank them one to five, all three of us. Whoever's the closest wins something that we will determine on our next week. And we're going to go fast because we don't want this to take all your Tuesday night. So, Easton, rank them right. The five are, in no particular order, Adam Clark, Jackson Curtis, Bo Barbin, Robbie Davis, and Britton Hemmert. Five vets, five vets that are cruising. Well, let's rank them right. Easton, one to five. Start with five, up to one. Okay. Give me Britton at five. Okay. Give me Robbie at four. That pains me deep down in my heart. You know it. That guy's he's the best guy. Give me Jay Kurt at three. Okay. He's got the potential to be number one every week. I just don't know who I'm getting. You don't know how much he's knocking. Give me Jay Kurt at three. Okay. Give me Bo Barbin at two, having an absolutely massive year. Give me Adam Clark, number one. I think he sells six, seven, eight deals, and they are... Big ones. Yeah. Next Wednesday. Cap. Uh, oh, you go. Please. It's gonna go left to right, right to left. I hate to also take Britain at five. It's not personal. You, somebody has to be five. <laughs> I'm taking Britain at five. I'm taking Bo at four. I'm kind of a toss between Jay Kurt and Adam Clark. I think I'm gonna go Adam Clark three, Jay Kurt two, and I'm going Robbie Davis one. Mm. Mm-hmm. And I'll tell you what. He could be. A couple of us corporate Joes had a moment before the summer with him in the sauna. He almost had me in tears, dude. I'm a, the guy made, gets me in tears every time I see him. He made a believer out of me, and I'm just going to bet on him. If it's, if, it's like, if it's his name on the line, then I think he's going after it. I think he's going to take top spot. Okay, it's great. We all have different lines. Same thing. I, this is a party wave I don't want to be on. But Britton Hebert, number five. <laughs> I don't Painful. like this one. Uh, Robbie, I love you, number four. Adam Clark... Coming in at number three, Jay Kurt, number two, and just Bo Barbin. I don't know who this man is, but he is ripping. He's Diffy. He was number one. I think yeah. he was number one. He sold 14 accounts or 14K on yesterday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He's yeah, fighting for guy. something bigger. Yeah, that's the one. So those yeah, are going to rank right. Let's see who rank him right after this uh, <laughs> next week. That was, a, that was a zesty lick. That was uh, it. Uh, <laughs> that was a zesty that's lick. That's a run from Girth Moisty here. Moving We've got White Plains <laughs> versus Kansas City. White Plains is ice cold. Mm, I say Frio. And you, <laughs> you need you need Adam Clark to come out in a big way. White Plains 0 and 4. Kansas City 3 and 1. Um, we've got the lines. Uh, Kansas City is favored minus 140 plus 155. Uh, let's get Danny. Should we get Danny Blue Skies in yeah, this yeah, one yeah, first? Yeah, 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 Blue Skies, take it away. Uh, it's, which one is it? White Plains KC, brother. <laughs> oh, jeez, bro. These are my teams. <laughs> um, hey, the weather shouldn't... D- d- doesn't matter. I'm with all the fellas. At the end of the day, I just hope ha- everyone has fun. You know what I mean? I just hope everyone has fun. Kansas City, you've got my vote. I'm taking KC. Uh, I think... Listen, it's KC, but I just don't think you actually believe. I think you're... Says the guy who says they were slipping. Kansas City, you're slipping. I'm still offended by that. I'm taking KC. Says the guy who said they were slipping but didn't say they were slipping Listen, until they were slipping. Listen, it's about the dollars. <laughs> I'm not in this business to make friends. I'm in this business to make cash. Yeah, just making up accusations. So wait, who are you no taking? No accountability. Who are you taking? K- KC. Oh KC. my gosh. I just hate that, I'm, I hate that I'm taking KC up, with you. I hate that I'm taking KC with you. Ooh, I'm a coward. Shut the hell up. This, <laughs> this, 
This <laughs> is a party wave I refuse to surf. Oh, shit. <laughs> so loud. I refuse to yeah. surf that party wave. Vance Munson is a pig. <laughs> <laughs> give, me, give me White Plains, dude. Give me White Plains. All right, White Plains. Love that. We'll didn't expect it. a hitch reference, did you, I Garth? I did it. I did it. That was my favorite movie. Next up, we've got Houston versus Seattle. Uh, we got Houston is coming in heavily favored against Seattle. Why? Because Seattle may or may not be slipping or have slipped. Help, I've fallen. I can't get up. <laughs> like, Alec, go pick him up. Um, yeah. All right, but I think Zoltar, I'm pretty sure that our guy Zoltar has a hot take for this. Can you rub that, please, and summon Zoltar himself? <laughs> In the, water. in the water. Zoltar, talk to us. Please. I know that you have felt something about this matchup. Yes. <laughs> I sure have. I see blonde. I see blonde, guys. I see uh, a nice gust of wind coming from Alabama. Ryan Winfred will be the top rookie next week. <laughs> I was lost for a second there. The top rookie? Yes. That's just what I see, man. Okay. <laughs> You God. heard it here first. God, Fair Ryan enough. Winfred. That is hot. Fair enough. I was lost for a second there. Zoltar, you were one and one last week, so I don't know how much I can trust you, but I believe you on this one because I think I feel it too. You better. <laughs> I, I lay a curse on you, bro. <laughs> no, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> better watch out, I will. Uh, I know you will. Zoltar, thank you. What? Ryan Winfrey. All right. I'm taking Houston. Wild West, hottest city. I think they're heating up. I think they're going to get after it. I think last week was. Something about rainstorms. I don't buy any of that, but I do know Houston is uh, feeling good and feeling all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think we might be Houston here. Yeah. I think I think this is a, I think this is a plan half. I think this is a lock. I think it's a guarantee. It's I think it's already exactly. written. I don't know if there's anything they can even do in Seattle. They they might not even want to knock. Here's the thing. You know what I'm talking about. In betting, sometimes the game makes so much sense that you are forced to bet the opposite. Mm -hmm. And I Been think there. that's where I'm at here. I think Houston makes so much sense. I think Seattle's going to hear the chatter. I think they have slipped, but I think they're going to bounce back. I'm taking Seattle with an upset. Okay, that, that would pay that would pay nicely. So you like Jamar, you like Tyler, Griff Schultz. You like that squad. That squad's yeah. good. I know Alex listening to this. I don't know if he's out there, but I know he's listening to this. And he's going to go ahead and he's going to have a conversation with those guys. Yep. He's going to get them fired up. Next up, everybody, new segment. We've got... Rock 'em, sock 'em rookies, everyone. <laughs> that scared me. That this scared week, me. this week on the Rock 'em, sock 'em rookies, we've got first up in the blue corner, we've got our guy Tyson Terry wow. versus Ryan Winfrey. Where if the Zoltar is right, the Zoltar is right. So this is the matchup. We have two rookie matchups. We've got Tyson Terry versus Ryan Winfrey. This doesn't mean anything. Uh, this is just I just want I bought this at Target today, and I thought that would be a fun thing to do. Which Rock'em Sock'em rookie is actually going to take the dub on Wednesday? Let's find out. There's a lot of monsters, so I can't play to my full potential, so I'm sorry, Tyson. Mm -hmm. Ready? Go. <laughs> got to get closer. Ready? Get, move them. Get your head. Oh! Tyson took it! Sorry about that. Um, so, I'm, who are you guys taking, though? Rookies? This is just obviously a prop. Who do you guys like? Oh, I listen to Zoltar. Always. Give me Winfrey. Winfrey? I'm a man of omens, and I, I take that. Tyson? Yeah. Uh, I also think Tyson, I didn't know it was going to be him the blue robot that absolutely just smoked Ryan. Sorry, Ryan, Tyson takes it. Rock'em Sock'em Rookie and the other matchup. Let me get in this. Mm -hmm. You want some of this? We've got our guy this. Pablo Torres from Portland, the anaconda himself, versus the Marine, versus Jake Knoll, versus the guy that everyone is low-key kind of scared to find if you're out in your garage and he's at 9.4K on the, on the day. He's gonna sell you. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. I won't. Let's get it. Garth can't fight for Jake. Garth <laughs> right. can't fight for Jake. I don't want to. That's a crime. Okay, please That's go ahead. Crime. Blue matchup. You've got Let's our guy go. Jake versus Pablo. Ready? Go. Oh no! And Pablo first. It was. It was. <laughs> we gotta go to the tape. We gotta go to the tapes. Run the tapes. Run the tapes. Run the tapes. Run the tapes. Oh! Boom! It was, it was Jake Nold beat Pablo. Run now, the tapes. I'm a man of we, omens, we but I'm taking did. Pablo. <laughs> so you're a liar. You're <laughs> a coward. Sometimes. Like, I'm also taking Pablo. I know if that guy turns up, it's hot, tough to beat. At least Jake Nold, though, he always turns up, so it's just who's hotter? Who's hotter? I'm gonna make an enemy here. 
I'm gonna make an enemy here. Oh, no, I don't know if you want to do this. I think uh, not only do I think it's Jake Nold, oh. I think he's Handily. rookie King of the Hill type beat next Wednesday. I think he breaks his own record. Hot that's day. that's the kind of hot 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 take I'm on right now. Oh, man, two for Pablo, one for Jake Nold. It's fair. Yeah. That was our segment, Rock 'em Sock 'em Rookies. We'll check back next week. Moving on, we've got New Mexico versus Nashville. Uh, we got Nashville's heavily favored. Minus 140 versus New Mexico. Nashville is just hot right now. Nashville is hot. Now, they're not hot Cheeto hot. They're more like an hour-long old tornado hot. Mm -hmm. Not very. <laughs> not very hot, but they're hot. But like New hot. Mexico. Yeah, yeah, correct. Uh, talk to the East. Nashville's been really showing me some things these last they few have. weeks. Did you bet against them last week? Cold. You did. The, the, tornado, the, the, the tornado was cold, if you were wondering. <laughs> Ice. <laughs> Correct. Uh, yeah, give me Nashville. <laughs> <laughs> give me country music capital of the world. These glasses are broken. I love them, though. Uh, <laughs> give, me, <laughs> give me Nashville, Albuquerque. I just don't know what to expect down there. I just don't know how spicy the spicy time is getting. Mm -hmm. So uh, I like Nashville here. Okay. Uh, Cole? I'm going to take New Mexico. I'm kind of, if you hear, I feel like, yeah, it's kind of hard to gauge how much New Mexico really cares about the whole rumble. <laughs> Are they just kind of getting warm down there? I think I'm going to take them just because I think there's so many high level sellers. But I really, I think they could be a Portland, Columbus type team. And I don't think we're fully seeing that yet. I'm going to take them this week. I'm hoping that they kind of step up though and start to really turn it up. I'm seeing something in, in the distance. It's Corbin's head on a Where's Waldo type shirt. Where's Corbin? <laughs> Where is he? I need him to lead this squad yeah. to a victory. Corbin, I need you to lead the squad. The squad is good. They need you to lead them to the chosen land, to the promised land. And that's why I'm taking New Mexico because I think Corbin understands. I'm talking to you. You, goat. <laughs> talking to you. That's it, all right. <laughs> Last and final matchup, we've got Boise and Charleston. They have, uh, the boys from Jacksonville have moved up doo -doo 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 -doo, to Charleston. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got them versus Boston. They're both two and two. Boston's coming off an L. Boise and Charleston's coming off a dub. KG ripping a so casual 10K yesterday. Yep, he's a pro. Clock in, clock he's out. He's an actual consummate professional. Show up to work, clock in, clock out. 10K, 10K. Ding, 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 ding. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Talk to me, East. What are you feeling? I'm partial to the revolutionaries here. Toby and I have made amends. We're right, we're on the same page, we're aligned. Mm -hmm. Give me Boston. Give me Boston. Give me Boston. Give him Boston. I'm going similar vibes as last week. They're professionals out there. Boise, those guys in Jacksonville, down in Charleston. They're vets, they're gonna do what they do. Boston's gonna need to pop. Out of respect for Boston, I'm gonna go ahead and take this Daniel Boone hat off. Uh, mm. And I'm going to go ahead and take Boise Charleston. I don't know if Daniel Boone had any affiliation <laughs> with uh, <laughs> the old Revolutionary War. No, but Boston. Hats. Yeah, 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 come on. Old hats. Ha old old hats. People. Exactly. So you're come going on. who? Boise Charleston. Yep. As you can see, I just fixed my suit because I would want Kevin Glenn, when he sees this, to totally understand that I wear a suit and go to church like you every Sunday. That's why I'm riding with you, Elder Glenn. I'm taking Elder Glenn, I'm taking Boise, and I'm riding them into the sunset. Hey, yeah. Because that's what's just the smart move at this point, and I want free money. <laughs> Danny? Uh, if you're not going to ride for Boston, Cole, I'll go ahead and take that hat off your head, then. Go, go ahead and fork that over. You don't deserve to wear that piece. I'll, I'll, I'll give it. I'll give it. <laughs> give him the Daniel Boone hat. I'll tell you what. The numbers... Boise wins by the numbers of last week. They do. However, I think it's completely dependent on Jensen Tobiason's Paul Revere speech. Mm. Okay, if Could he can right. pull out if he can pull out a crazy speech this week, I think they edge him out. Otherwise, it's Boise. But I believe in Jensen. I believe in the army. <clears throat> Thank you, Blue Skies. Let's turn the time over to our money sponsor, Scott. Over to you. Thanks, Garth and Easton. We have an insane amount of cash. And we're back. Let's end this thing with our Wednesday pick of the, of the day. Mm -hmm. Top rep on Wednesday. I'm going to give it to you raw. I'm going to give it to you straight. It's our guy, James Hansen. 
Whoa. I'm riding with New Mexico because Whoa. I think that the Hanson brothers find themselves together. I think that they band together as brothers. And they absolutely drive out together, drive home together, with at least 23K as a car together. It's what's going to happen. I'm taking James Hansen number one rep on the day. East. That's unbelievable. Yep. That is an J-Mo. unbelievable take. J-Mo. Love that guy. He's a great guy. Give me Brannick, <laughs> Brannick Gill, top rep. Oh. You forgot about that guy, didn't you? Mm. He's been murking in the shadows. Yeah. Mistakes on you. Give Lurking. me Brannick, top say. rep. Brandon Gill, top rep, and you already took. I'm gonna go ahead and change. I'm gonna change up. Is that okay? Is that allowed? No, it's not allowed, but I'll allow it. I'm wearing the hat. Something feels different. I kind of realized something that I had forgotten about. I think respect to the Nilsons. I think they'll take top five, Jack and Wills. Mm. But top rep, <laughs> Captain Van Dyke. Whoa! <laughs> Captain Van Dyke. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Captain Van Dyke. Top yeah, rep. that's that's. That is, that's a great pick. Domino's finest. It's a great pick. Domino's <laughs> finest. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here. This is week five of game day. It doesn't get better than this. It doesn't get harder than this. It doesn't get older than this. Any last words from anybody? I can't wait. Trust I can't troops. wait. Trust the troops. As for this episode of Great Game Day, see you next week. Ain't gotta wait to make them move as I be loaded. Why you watch a drink of 40s? I just told it. Still that same, they're in a form, but it's stolen.